Hey, this is Dave Hompes from hpylorisymptoms.com and I want to talk about leaky gut syndrome. Now, what is leaky gut syndrome? Um, well, it's a relatively new term and it's not very well recognized in Western medicine yet. But when they do recognize it, they have a different name. The Western medical model calls it increased intestinal permeability. What on earth does that mean? Well, basically, both leaky gut and increased intestinal permeability mean that your intestine and possibly even your stomach become what we call porous. You develop tiny gaps between the cells that are crammed together. And those gaps appear in what we call tight junctions. And that's where the cells literally join together and they open up slightly. Now, the ramifications of the cells opening up slightly are really, really important and can be serious. Because once you have leaky gut, it allows toxins, undigested food particles, uh, the metabolic byproducts of bacteria and fungi and things like that into your bloodstream. They go to the liver, but if the liver gets overwhelmed with too many of these materials, it can't filter them properly out of the blood and they end up circulating around your body. Now, once all those particles or those molecules are circulating around your body, you can end up with all manner of different symptoms to every corner of your body. You might feel tired. You might have mood changes and find problems with your memory. You might develop skin problems. You might find that you develop aches and pains in your joints. Because what happens is those chemicals either interfere directly with your metabolic processes or they trigger an immune system response that creates symptoms as well. And usually it's a little bit of both. What would cause leaky gut syndrome? Well, there are a number of really common causes that you have the ability to avoid right away. Damaging foods like processed foods, gluten, cow's milk for some people, soy for some people, and even things like beans and foods that are difficult to digest can irritate the intestine and create damage that leads to leaky gut syndrome. Other factors include parasites, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, Candida and H. pylori, which is a stomach infection. All of those bugs, when they get a hold in your digestive tract and proliferate and cause problems, can create a leaky gut kind of situation. Why? Because they create irritation and inflammation in the digestive lining. And it's that damaged and inflamed tissue that opens up and allows these particles of undigested food, toxins, etc., into the bloodstream when they shouldn't really be there. In order to resolve leaky gut syndrome and all the different symptoms that it causes, you've obviously got to fix the gut. That involves removing the factors that are causing the leaky gut in the first place, usually the food you're eating and the bad bugs that might be living in your digestive system. It means making sure that you digest your food properly by relaxing, and trying not to eat in a stressed state, chewing your food properly, and then giving your digestive system some support with digestive enzyme supplements perhaps, some support for your liver and gallbladder, possibly some probiotics to get the good bacteria back into your system, and in some cases, uh, hydrochloric acid supplementation as well in the form of betaine hydrochloride supplements. Other causes of leaky gut syndrome include antibiotics and certain medical drugs that really irritate the digestive tract as well. One common example is aspirin which is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug that is obviously used around the world for things like headaches, for example, and other chronic pain disorders. Aspirin can damage the stomach significantly, open up the stomach cells, and allow things to leak through that shouldn't really be there. Stress also can create a leaky gut syndrome. In fact, we know for sure that, for example, exercise, very heavy physical exercise, causes leaky gut. The research is out there showing that. So any form of stress that your body is perceiving or that you're experiencing has the potential to create leaky gut as well. Now, I realize that this sounds kind of complex. We're talking about foods and dietary changes, eating habits, microbes, supporting the digestive system and healing the gut. We're talking about stress. We're talking about medications. And we're talking about uh, things like exercise, which is supposed to be healthy for you, right? Now, if you're feeling a little bit confused and overwhelmed by this information, then please visit my website, hpylorisymptoms.com, where there's a stack of useful information that is going to help you understand why you're not feeling well 
in addition to a number of different programs we offer to help you rejuvenate your digestive health and in fact, the overall health of your body. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been useful for you and I look forward to talking with you again very soon. Thanks a lot.